safety, you know, as a priority. Right. And um, I just want to say this, I know it's the time that we're in, but it's definitely a priority. And I want to commend you, Ronnie, and, and all that you've done right. at the facility, because, you know, this is a hard time that we're in right now, you know, with COVID. And we still want to allow basketball players, volleyball players, and whoever come into our facility to have a good experience, but feel safe while they're right. in our facility. And you've done an amazing job with our bathrooms are touch free. Um, we have hand sanitizers on our wall. We have guidelines and protocols that we have in place for all of our staff and our coaches so that our families that enter our facility feel good about being in there you know mm -hmm. and that they feel good about leaving their son or daughter you know to participate in what we have to offer and i just think that that's huge and definitely safety and health um i want them to expect that that's a definitely you know that's a priority for us absolutely yeah. and and it's amazing how you know life has changed because we spend a lot of our time making sure that that happens i know you and i are yeah. in conversations daily and we you know have constant meetings on you know what's the best thing we can do and i'm thankful that i can offer that for people and uh you know and, I, and i'll say this i don't like to put anyone else down but i you know my kids still play and went to a facility that they didn't honor any of that and uh, i was really sad because you know what these are young people these are you know i my child is going into these facilities. So I want to make sure that, that everyone feels really good walking into our facility. And I'm thankful and, and I appreciate all you guys have done too to help me with that quest. So you can, uh, you know, we're doing our best and we're trying very hard to make this a really, really good experience for you guys. So.